everyone welcome to my channel I'm Renee and hey if um, you are new to my channel um, go ahead and subscribe if you want if uh, you're not and you're one of my subscribers hey thanks for stopping in here on um, tonight we are going to be making a carrot cake bread okay and on top of it we are going to be putting a cream cheese frosting this is going to be good in fact hey it would be something that you could make maybe for your mama for Mother's Day. Let's get started. Okay, we are going to begin with, let me get you down here. We need three uh, carrots, approximately. Now, if you have one of these things here, just go along and grate up about two cups of grated carrot after you've peeled it, of course. Okay, beans that... Um, I didn't want you to have to go and watch me do two cups of carrots. I went ahead and got it done ahead of time. So we are going to begin with adding in one and a quarter cups of flour into this bowl right here. One teaspoon of bacon powder. And I mean, one teaspoon we have of cinnamon. Right here is, uh, I have one teaspoon or half a teaspoon of ground ginger and a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. So we're just going to mix, oh, and my salt here. I have a half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're just going to mix that all in there. Now I'm going to grab my bigger bowl right here. And we are going to take three eggs. One. Two. Three eggs. Okay. And we're just going to whisk them around like that. Then add in one cup of sugar into that. And one teaspoon of vanilla. Right into that. Now we need to add in one cup of oil. Now it can be any oil that you want. Right here, here I'm using vegetable oil, but if you have some other type of oil, you are free to use it. So I need a one cup of oil, so just a half a cup. And that's a half a cup. So that's going to make one cup. I'm just going to whisk that around really good. Okay, now into that, I'm going to take and add in my carrots, which was two cups. And then I have a half a cup of raisins. Get those in there. This is a real simple recipe, you guys. So like I say, if you want to make it for your mom for Mother's Day, I'm sure she would love it. Okay, here I have my dry ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and put that right in there like that. In fact, I think I'll use my wooden spoon to get it all mixed up. Oh, <laughs> flying flour. Okay. And I'm just going to get it stirred really good there. And get around the side of it. I have my oven preheating at 350 degrees. Get all that stuff out of the way. Right here, I have my bread pan. And I'm going to line it here with some parchment paper. And spray it underneath there. That kind of 
keeps the parchment paper stuck to it. And you don't have to use parchment paper. But sometimes it's easier to get out of your bedpan. Okay, so now that's all mixed up, I'm going to add that into your bread pan, your loaf pan. I have smaller loaf pans here, so I'm able to make two of them. So there's one. And I'm going to spray the other one. You know, I don't even think I'm going to use the parchment paper on this one. We'll find out which one works best, won't we? Let's get that all in there. Still waiting on my oven to get up to temperature before I can put it in there. But this is going to bake for an hour and 10 minutes. Okay, so your oven may be a little different temperature. Uh, you know, they all are. But when it's done, if you can stick it with a toothpick or a knife and it comes out clean, then this will be done. And uh, I'm going to stick this in the oven and I'll be back in a little bit and we'll make the icing for when it's done. So make sure you stay tuned. Okay, while the bread is in the oven, we're going to go ahead and make the icing. And I am starting out with some cream cheese that I've had out of the refrigerator trying to soften. So we need to use up about half of this. This is eight ounces, we need four. So I'm thinking if we just cut it in half, we should have what we need, right? Get my bowl over here. There we go. That's my four ounces. <laughs> now we're going to uh, grab, I'm just going to grab me a fork to soften it. You can do this in with a mixer blender if you want. Uh, okay, now I need two tablespoons of butter. Put that in there. We're just going to mix it, mix, 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 and get that softened up really good. Okay, now I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. Or one cap. <laughs> I'm going to just drop my cap. There we go. Okay, I'm going to mix that in there. Put vanilla in. Okay, now we need a cup of powdered sugar, confectioner sugar, some people call it. I just call it powdered sugar. What do y'all call it? And, oops, <laughs> almost had me more than a cup there. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and add just a little bit at a time. Kind of mix it. Work it in there. And add a little bit more. Like that. Oh, that smells good. Okay. You see what I got there? It's about mixed and creamy to me. So, I'm done with the fork. Mm. And the sink it goes. That is good. It's going to be really good on top of that carrot cake bread. <laughs> mm -hmm. So make sure you stay tuned for when it's done. And we'll get it put on top of it. And that's going to be good. Okay, it is done. It was in for one hour and five minutes. And here is the one that I used with the parchment paper. And here is the one that I didn't. So I'm going to let these cool for just a little bit. Um, probably go around the edges a little bit to loosen them up. 
so that they will come out freely. So let me grab something to put them on. This will do for right now. So we're going to try the one that I used just spray <laughs> on. See how well it comes out. Okay, so that one is wanting to stick a little bit. I'm going to take my little pipe cutter here and go around it. And hopefully it will come out just a little bit better. Okay, let's try it again. All right. And it did stick to the bottom. Yay. Still edible, though. Work with what you have. <laughs> okay, and number two. Here is the line that we use the parchment paper. And which one is easier to get out of the pan? I'm going with the one that we put on the parchment paper. That's what I'm going to do. I mean, that looks like it turned out good. This one turned out good, too, but part of it is still in the pan. <laughs> but once we get done with it, it's amazing. They'll never know. So, give me a few minutes, cool these off, and we'll put that cream cheese icing on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, I've let it cool off just a little bit. So now I've got my cream cheese frosting right here. And we're just going to put a little bit on here. Mm -mm. Yeah, homemade carrot cake bread. Does that not look scrumptious? I gotta save some of that icing for the other one. Right, I'm gonna get this one put on first. Okay, and then if you want to. Take some chopped up walnuts and put it on top of that. Like that. Now, of course, that's optional. You could e even put walnuts in the mix if you wanted to and have them baked right into your bread. What do you think? Does that not look good? I believe so. I'm going to go grab the other one. We might as well do it too, right? Here we go. Just like that. Mm. I wish you could taste this frosting with the cream cheese. It is so good. It's like the cream cheese and the carrot just really goes together. So, we'll go ahead and add a few walnuts on it, too. Just like that. And like that. Mm -hmm -hmm. So, hey, let's try out a piece of it. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So, hey, this was pretty simple to put together, guys. So, hey, if you want to whip up um, a batch of homemade uh, carrot cake loaf, hey, I'm sure she'd really enjoy it. So, hey, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and uh, go ahead and share the recipe if you want. So, until next time, guys. Toodaloo. See you next time. Bye.